Hi, my name is Katie Geigenheimer, and I am this week's studio visit artist for I Like Your Work. I'm coming to you from my studio in the Brewery Town neighborhood of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, in the United States. I've been in this studio for just about two and a half or three years. Um, I work in oil paint. I also draw. Right now my studio is mostly set up for oil painting. Uh, I have a lot of work in progress in here, but I'm really excited to show you all around. I am an artist, a writer, and an educator here in Philadelphia. I've lived here for the past five years after a long time of being away and returning. I'm a native Pennsylvanian, um, and I really love living here and working here. Philadelphia is a great place to be an artist because you can have fabulous studios like this. Primarily, I'm working in oil paint, as I said, so I think of my paintings as a landscape and a portrait and a still life all at once. I like to have a lot of possibilities in my paintings through symbols. Um, I would say structure or a scaffolding for my work comes first, and then a very close second is color. I believe I am a colorist, I am a symbolist. Uh, so when I say scaffolding, what I mean by that, well, this is a palette. So this is the color index of some of my recent work. And when I say scaffolding, what I mean is, say, the scaffolding of a wall calendar. So that as a structure, as a stacked diptych, is a structure that I've used in my work. Um, what I am working on right now are actually paintings on heart panels uh, that I made myself. So that's something else that's in progress. And you can get a little sneak peek of that over here. I have my palette mixed out already, and I'm working in progress toward a show. So to offer a little bit more insight on my calendar paintings, as I was saying, these are stacked diptychs. They are also based, this series, on the four seasons. So as you can tell, this is fall, very seasonal. Um, the colors, I spend so much time mixing and getting so specific about the essence of fall. So I really build out a palette, I name my own colors, and I really limit myself to what is exactly there for me that I've pre-selected for a painting like fall or spring or summer or winter. Um, this painting, as you can see, the reason I call it a calendar, if it isn't immediately evident, is there's a top, like a wall calendar, that's an image, uh, and a bottom that's a grid. It allows me so much space to play um, with the tropes of the grid or the tropes of the landscape. Um, but also it is just, as I said, the scaffolding to make a painting, and that's always my ultimate goal. My ultimate joy and pleasure is really being present, making a painting, and solving the problems. Uh, this grid, as you can tell, for me, fall is always hectic, and so I portrayed it as actually a fire, uh, also evoking thoughts of, say, burning leaves, crunchiness, all of the sensorial um, that I think about when I think about the seasons in the Northeast, um, which is something that is so important to me, seasonality, but also feels so shifting and uh, inconsistent at this moment. So as a time marker, you know, how do I capture what I know is a season and then what might change when I look back at these paintings 20 years from now? Thank you so much for touring my studio with I Like Your Work. You can find my work on my website at www.katieganheimer.com, that's G-E-G-E-N-H-E-I-M-E-R, or on Instagram with my same name. You will find me. Uh, please read the full interview about my practice on ilikeyourwork.com slash studiovisitartist. Thank you.